Hey guys, Seven Thirty Rocks here, and for today's video, I'm gonna review episode one through three. Uh, not try not to take too much of your time, and have to make this video long, but I'll talk, of course, Wrestling Society X, uh, the complete first and only season. Um, it was an MT. If you don't know what it was, MTV show, like a wrestling show. It's kind of honestly been compared to Lucha Underground, or Lucha Underground's kind of compared to that. Um, and uh, did it one season, obviously didn't go well, but had a great roster, um, some very, very random and chaotic moments, and uh, basically it's um, an underground uh, wrestling fight club um, where, you know, the number one rule about fight club, don't talk about fight club, and I think they did that a little too much about not talking about it because it was only one season. Um, but I'm going to review the first three episodes. Let's get right into it. Uh, the first episode... Uh, started off with Jack Evans versus Matt Seidel. So this is a dream match. I mean, this is when they're pr actually pretty young. So um, probably not in their prime, obviously, but still a very, very fun, fast-paced match. Basically, it's uh, 10 minutes uh, time limit. Uh, falls can be anywhere, pretty much anything. You can, like, shoot the guy. Like, people are getting electrocuted on the show. It was very, very insane, very frightening. It was awesome, though. Um, but... Jack Evans hit a beautiful 6.30 splash to win the match, and uh, it was a great high-flying bout. That was only like five minutes, I think. The main event, yeah, only two matches on the first show. The main event was a 10-man death, I put it in my notes, as a death ladder battle royal thing. Because, honestly, 10 guys, they come in, or two guys start off, then, you know, 45-second intervals, uh, a new guy comes in. Just so chaotic. It was a battle royal, but also a ladder match. So two contracts hang hung above the ring where uh, if you grabbed one, you were going to verse the other guy who grabbed the other one in the main event of the next show to crown the first ever champion. So we had uh, Just Incredible, Teddy Hart, uh, freaking New Jack, Vampiro, X-Pac, who's six pac in this. Um, it was just crazy. Basically, the, the ring was, the outside of the ring was surrounded by tables, this huge uh, Hell in a Cell wall thing, uh, this huge thing where you get electrocuted in. I mean, it was just random. Tag teams would come out. Uh, when it when like a new person came out, like one time, uh, one guy and his friend and his tag team partner came out. Uh, another time, this one guy came out and New Jack was supposed to be feuding with him. So New Jack just came out right behind him, hit him with a chair, and people were like, "Okay, cool." And so I didn't really get the point of it. Ladders weren't brought in until X Pac came in, and he was like the second to last guy or something like that. So ladders didn't come in until there were only like four guys left. Um, but a guy got electrocuted. He got back body dropped into the whole electrocution thing. People are dying. Um, it, it was pretty crazy. I mean, uh, uh, X-Pac grabbed the first one and then Vampiro grabbed the second one. So it was just, just chaotic. I had no idea what was happening. People going through tables. People are getting eliminated and then going back in and throwing people into like electrical equipment and just killing people. It was pretty intense. So the first episode, I was like, okay, this is right up my alley. I need this in my life. Uh, wrestling not to take seriously. So episode two started off with Human Tornado versus Luke Cox. Straight off the bat, just Human Tornado won with a Tornado DDT. That's clever. Um, Human Tornado is awesome. I miss him. Uh, Joey Ryan and Disco Machine, that 70s team versus uh, Team Dragon Gate. And I think oh yeah, Team Dragon Gate won. It really wasn't that crazy, but it was just their first tag team match. It was like a big deal to them. And then in the main event, Vampiro versus Six Pop for the Wrestling Society X uh, Championship. Just want to say real quick, the announcers aren't that bad. The ring announcer, he is extremely annoying. He says all these, at the beginning of each show, he says like a, a fire pun, like it's going to, you know, burn or something, or someone's going to burn. And then like Kane's pyro pops up and like the fans are flipping out because fire is everywhere. He's annoying. Anyway. Uh, basically, this was for the championship, Six Pac versus Vampiro. Just it was just you know, heavily edited, where it just went from one spot to the other. Like they do it, Vampiro choke slammed him, then they edit it so it was like right off the bat where X Pac did a tornado DDT through a table. The finish was insane. So Vampiro brought out a casket, and he had X Pac like in a tombstone position on the outside, jumps on the casket, tombstones him. The casket explodes. Just fires everywhere. X Pac is probably dead, and uh, they got the pin off that. So he murdered him, basically, is what I'm getting at. Vampiro won it, won the first ever Wrestling Society X. And then episode three started with him saying how this championship was his life. And it's pretty funny because it only lasts one season, so it's really not that big of his life. Um, but it started off with the trailer Park Boys, just a bunch of rednecks, versus Teddy Hart and Matt Cross. Uh, which is a pretty awesome team, actually. Matt Cross is, of course, son of Havoc on Lucha Underground, and Teddy Hart is 
freaking hard left Teddy Hart. Um, basically, they just did a bunch of flipping moves against the redneck guys, and it was pretty awesome. The finish came where Teddy Hart actually grabbed these electrical wires, electrocuted a guy, like straight up just massacred this guy, <laughs> turned him like Electro from Spider-Man, the Spider-Man villain. And then when the guy falls on a table, Teddy Hart just climbs up this balcony, does a spiral tap off it through two tables to kill the guy. And then Matt Cross is a beautiful shooting star leg drop. It was amazing. And that's how they got the win. So Teddy Hart killed the guy is what I'm getting at. He is probably in jail now. Um, Jack Evans versus Quicksilver. Quicksilver from PWG. He was going by a different name, but uh, it was really long and confusing. And the announcers didn't even call him it. They were just like, we don't know his name or we don't know how to pronounce his name. So we're going to call him the man in the mask. And that's literally what they did. But Jack Evans hit another beautiful 630, got the win. Um, so Wrestling Society X, I really hope they're pushing Jack Evans. I'm going to watch some more episodes later. They have been giving Jack Evans two good wins. So if they don't you know, have him win the championship at the end, I'm going to be sad. Um, and then the main event was uh, Alcatraz and Luke Hawk versus Los po Pochos Guapos in a TLC match. But it's a tables, ladders, and how do you pronounce it? Cervezas, which is beer in Spanish, I believe. It was just bottles. And they really didn't do anything with them except one guy went to powerbomb a guy onto it. And the guy jumped up and like slammed his head straight into the bottles. It looked just brutal. Uh, but then uh, Alcatraz, I think, powerbombed the guy to win the match. So TLC match, but no chairs. Cervezas. We're just taking beer bottles and killing people. Wrestling Society X. That's my one through three episode reviews. It's pretty insane. People are dying on this show. And uh, it's worth every penny. I paid like eight bucks for it. In a world where now everyone is taking all this wrestling so seriously, it's really good to get this just to have fun with wrestling again and see people kill each other for absolutely no reason. So I really enjoy this. It's It was only 8 bucks, so I'm pretty liking it so far. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth. Um, uh, if you want me to do these episodes still, uh, review them, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. And if you've watched Wrestling Society X, please let me know what you think of it. So thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, at 7 rocks. I'll probably do uh, 4 through 6 next, and then 7 through 9, and probably the 10th as its own video. Or if you guys don't even care about this, I'll probably just stop this whole reviewing thing of, the, of Wrestling Society X. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day.